What is up guys and welcome to my new series which is called Tips and Tricks and basically it's all about me giving you all the information I know about Call of Duty uh, the past ones and the present and uh, I hope it does basically help you out whether it improves your gameplay or not I'm not sure but um, in my opinion this is some good advice so if you're not the best Call of Duty player I do advise you to watch this and uh, I hope you do like the little banner about it below as you can see this week and this episode, which is the first one, is about the Bounce and Betty, which uh, well, you guys are familiar with it from World at War. Um, it's completely different in this game. It explodes different, and um, it's not used as much as there's plenty of other equipment that people would rather use. And uh, I'm basically going to show you how to prevent being killed by it and how it all works. And uh, I hope you honestly do like this series, guys. I'm just going to basically bring you what I can on different stuff and I hope you do enjoy it so as you come down here as you can see there's a red light there and uh, it kills me which is the bouncing bay so sorry I didn't see that in the first place but as you come down here you can see the bouncing bay basically explodes at mid height so it's got like a disc type thing which explodes and basically that's how it goes so I'm basically gonna skip to the next part and uh, show you how to prevent being killed by it if it has exploded yeah, it's pretty good advice. I, whether you guys are familiar or not, I'm going to show you because I think it's something good that a lot of you guys could use, especially if you play Domination or Search and Destroy. A lot of people do seem to use the Bouncing Betty because uh, it's pretty easy to get kills. So I'm just going to quickly skip this. So welcome to the next part, guys, which is the uh, same game, just fast forwarded. So I basically want to show you how to prevent being killed by the Betty, which is a... Uh, Pretty easy, pretty obvious, but it works perfect. And as you can see right here, all you do is go prone before the Betty. And now if you're an at like a Tail Beach user or Astros or anything like that, you'll hear the sound of a Betty pretty easy and pretty loud. So uh, you'll know when to go prone and uh, just providing you're not in a small gap and you kind of get away from the Betty. Just simply go prone as the bouncing Betty explodes at head height, like I said. So if you're below it and you do go to prone, like I did in the video, I'm just going to uh, go back a little bit to just basically uh, go into third person and uh, basically show you how this works. So I'm going to slow it down and uh, show you guys how the Betty works. So as you can see, my guy is just going to come through there. I'm just going to slow it all the way down for you. But as you can see, the Betty's on the floor and uh, it is activated by uh, like by movement. So as you can see there, it's flashing and uh, it explodes up. And uh, my guy's freakishly going to prone there. But as you can see, the disc type thing spins up and it does explode at head height. But for some reason, it disappeared there. But if you don't believe me, this works. Please try it in private match or please try it online. It works perfect. And I hope this does help you. Peace out. And uh, leave a comment down below, guys, to let me know what other stuff you'd like to know. Like uh, weapons, perks, kill streaks, anything in Call of Duty. Please leave it in the, in the uh, messages below. And I will respond to everyone, everyone I can. Thank you and.